it's very easy to fly this. So if I let go, the airplane just goes like that, nice and stable. The wind is kind of bebopping it. It's about seven mile an hour right now, uh, which is kind of the limit of what you want to be flying this in, but perfect in the first of the morning. Hey, welcome back to Motion RC. I'm your product specialist, Wesley, and today we have the XK de Havilland Beaver. This is a fun little ready to fly kit. Comes with the controller, the airplane, the battery, and the charger right out of the box. Assembling this one is a breeze. You have one screw to get your wing put on, and then you just clip your little landing gear into the bottom, and then you have the two little sticks out on the wing that are gonna just snap in. Uh, the airplane also comes with a replacement prop and spinner and a little spinner nut. Um, the airplane is gyro stabilized for you newer pilots. This is going to be a perfect first, second plane if you're just looking for something to play with in the backyard because it has a gyro. Now to show you, to initialize the gyro, the airplane is on right now. If I move the sticks you can see it but nothing happens. You have to actually give it some throttle first to initialize the gyro, so now the gyro's on. So if I take it and I tilt it, as you can see the ailerons deflect against the turn. Same thing if I go down now with the plane, the elevator automatically goes up. And then if I turn it in the yaw axis, the rudder actually turns also. So very cool, stabilized and ready to fly. So. It's kind of tall grass out here, which is fine. All we need to do is hand launch it. So I'm gonna walk out here, we're gonna throw it into the wind, and we're gonna have us a successful flight. So here we go. And walk over to the camera. I'm gonna give it a little rudder. Very stable. And power off, coming down in front of us. Look at that little guy. Ooh, the wind got it. Here we go. Fly it out of it. It's got a gyro. Just give it a little throttle. Now, like I said, we're kind of at the max of the limits of the wind of what you want to be playing with this airplane in. Power coming back, turning it into the wind. It'll just stop on us. Look at it. Just stop. <laughs> just hovering it. Very, very easy flying airplane, though. Uh, that's completely hands off. The gyro is really working right now for us in our favor, and it's just flying the airplane nice and stable. So the nice thing is if we were to get in trouble, we can just let go of the sticks. You can see it's going to start flying off. I'm just going to give it some bank, come on around, let go of the sticks, and you can see it just flies out of it. Now, it also has acro mode uh, or a non-stabilize, so let's go in and turn it around. And I'm gonna click my right stick down, and you heard it, and now we're out of the gyro mode, so we should be able to do rolls and loops. Wee! All kinds of acrobatics. Bring it around. I'm still out of the gyro mode, so this is just flying like a normal RC airplane here. And then if I got in trouble, so let's say we're going to crash. Oh no, I'm losing control. Turn the gyro back on and the airplane levels out and flies itself just like that. And all you do is click that right stick down to turn the gyro back on. So let's do it again. I'm going to turn the airplane into the wind. Gyro off. Oh no, we're going to crash. Oh no, gyro on. And you can see the plane just recovered from that on its own. I'm gonna push it back away from us because it's kind of right over top of us right now. One more time, gyro off. Oh no, gyro on. And you can see the plane flew out of that on its own. Very cool little technology on that. Okay, I'm gonna bring it down out of the space right now. But uh, when you're flying it the first time, fly it a little higher. Give yourself some room to make mistakes. Altitude your friend. Now for video's sake, I'm gonna bring it down here lower so you can actually see it. But it's actually a really good flying little ready to fly plane. It's about a quarter throttle right there and just kind of cruising. I wouldn't worry about doing too much acrobatics with this. This is more of a trainer, just easy flying and gentle. Look at that. 
A little bit of rudder in the turns to bring it around. Let's go on and give it some more rudder. Whee! Sorry, right, Lori, I kind of flew over you there. Whee! Let's get another one right in front of you here. And... <laughs> Whee! <laughs> Anyway, so that's kind of how it works. So let's bring this down for a landing and get you a battery report. So to land it, it's as simple as turn my gyro on, which is on now. I'm gonna point the airplane into the wind. I'm gonna turn the power off and I'm gonna just let the airplane come down. Here we go. I'm gonna let go, pull up, and there it is. It's as easy as that. So let's get this over to the bench and get you a battery report and show you around this model. All right, so that's our little XK Beaver. Now I've gone on ahead and turned it over on the table and unplugged it. What I'm gonna do right now is show you a battery report. Now this is something that does not come included in the kit, but this is a battery checker. We do have them available here at Motion RC if you're getting this airplane and you want a way to check your battery. Um, you can pull your little 2S LiPo out. Does come with the charger though. Um, and if we plug that in, on our little checker here, hit the cell button once. You can see we're at 71% or 3.95 a cell right there on the checker. So, as you can see, we, we didn't fly our full flight, we just flew for a little bit, but you're probably gonna get anywhere from five to 10 minutes with this. It's just gonna kind of vary on how hard you are on the throttle. Now, this airplane will fly around with the throttle very low on it. Um, and you'll have a lot better time. I would tell you not to fly at full throttle much because it's going to climb like crazy. So half throttle is probably where you're going to be to a quarter. Uh, the little airplane really flies nicely. As you can see, it's very well detailed out of the box for its price. Uh, it does come with an extra spinner and an extra propeller just in case you do have a bad landing. But you can see we landed it right out here in the grass. Didn't hurt it a bit. Uh, the little wheels don't really roll on this grass. If you have some kind of a paved area or a Geotex runway, something like that to land on, uh, shoot a patio for as slow as this thing comes in, something to just hard surface for the wheels to roll on, you can do touch and goes, takeoffs, landings, that kind of thing. Uh, we also left it in the stabilized mode most of the flight. Uh, it, it really flies nicely, especially with the little bit of wind we have. Like I said, it's about five to seven miles an hour. This is really going to be a lot more fun if you can come out in the early morning or the late evening when the wind's not blowing too hard uh, and have a good time with it. I really wouldn't recommend flying this if it's over about seven miles an hour because it's a little bitty airplane. Uh, it gets tossed around a lot. But if it's nice like it is today, it flies pretty good. So. Uh, like I said, the XK Beaver is a fun little airplane. If you haven't already thought about it, go over to MotionRC.com or check the link to this video and uh, get you one of these today. It's a nice, fun little thing for the backyard, and uh, I can't wait to fly it some more. So, without further ado, whether it be land, sea, or air, Motion RC has something for everyone. So get out there and fly. Have a good time. We'll see you all in the next one. Bye.